Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Ghana. Welcome, Africa, to the number one Christian entertainment show in Africa and Ghana. Gospel PR. My name is Dave Hazel. I'm a living the pistol, the enemy no go free handle. Amen, amen, amen to that. We are back again on the show and on the combo we are discussing. <laughs> the gospel nominations for the TGMA Awards 2024. I just want to encourage our viewers, especially watching us on our socials, Facebook and YouTube, to send in your comments. Let's get interactive, please, and I'll be reading them live on the show. So, the usual suspects, the pandas themselves are around. They are more like my backing vocalist, you know, helping me to chorus this message, you know, on the show Gospel PR. Yes, the fresh boy himself is around there. Mr. Eloquent himself is around. The bearded gang himself is around. Very, very... Crazy <laughs> boy. Good to see you on the show. Thank you, thank you. And then the fireman. The she -she -she man. That's ah, the man with the gist. Yes. She -she 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 Guys, welcome on the show. Thank you, sir. So, um, on the combo, we are discussing TGMA 2024, the gospel nominations. And even before we delve into the categories, um, Christian for you, um, I just want to know the essence of this award for gospel artists. Do you think it's, 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 it's essential for gospel artists to actually get into these awards? Essential, I would say, uh, yeah, to a large extent, because, you know, our message has to be heard. Okay. And platforms like this give us you know a bigger reach yeah. and so uh, i don't i don't buy in the idea that says that oh as for gospel artists you are not supposed to be on awards you are all about the source i mean focus wise yes. your focus is not the award mm -hmm. i was saying somewhere that i don't believe that as a gospel artist your on top of your priority should be that i want to win an award Okay. On top of your priority mm -hmm. should be, you know, the souls, the ministry and all that. Yeah. But awards, when they come, I mean, you, sh you should embrace it because they give you mileage. They give you, you know, reach. They, they, they make your message go far. So I believe that, yes, I, I mean, we should embrace it as and when it comes. But we should not clamor for it. We shouldn't make it look like mm -hmm. when people are sitting back and they see the way you are fighting for the award, they shouldn't begin to think that, oh, so are you really doing the gospel for the message sake or you are doing it for the award sake? Okay. I mean, I, most of the time, that's where the confusion is. But okay. as to whether we should accept it, yes, we should. She, she, she. Yes, should, it, should it be always be about the awards as a, as a gospel musician? Um, as he said, um, I want to say good evening to you, to your viewers. Um, we, as a gospel artist, I won't say that um, your, your focus should be the award, but as the award is like a platform, Mm -hmm. to um, stand on, to give you that leverage that you can uh, be able to promote your product as yeah. your songs. So at the point in time when you are drawing your promotional tools, mm -hmm. your strategies, a award scheme should be part. It should be part yes. of your strategies? Yes. Because if you are nominated in a, v, a TGMA yeah. as it stands now, it's a very big platform in Ghana and Africa. So if your project falls on that platform, then you can know the number of people, the masses, that are getting to know your brand. So it gives you that leverage. So when you are doing your promotional strategies, you need to factor that award schemes. I say, it's, it's a strategy. Like, um, at the point in time, I was saying that Jesus yeah. Christ needed the boat of Peter to mm -hmm. stand on, okay. to send a message. So at that point in time, the boat was a platform for Jesus Christ. So this summer, the boat is a, is a, yes. is a, is a, is a word platform. It's, yes, it's, it's a platform for you. Let's say, um, Dometo. Yeah. Everybody start following Dometo when he won Artist of the Year. As of 2017? Yes. That, um, some of us knew him that look, he was anointed. He but was, he was in that himself. platform gave him a lot of names. And since then, Dometo has been a top most gospel, uh, gospel artist in Ghana because of VGME. One will also say that before Dometo, we had, we had other ministers on board, the Tego sisters, even the Daughters of Glory of Jesus, who did awesome stuff. They didn't really win awards way back then, but they were able to touch souls. At that time, at that time they were part of the schemes. Tego Sisters yes. um, um, is um, one of the gospel artists that win that won um, popular song. Popular song. At that time, it was like the artist of the year. Yeah. Okay. Popular song. So winning the popular song of the so year like the biggest is like accolade. the biggest award at that time. So uh, it's like Dometo winning artist of the year. Look at what um, Diana also did with that scheme. Yeah. Since then, Diana has become one of the talk uh, talked about gospel artists 
in, in, in Ghana. So, so you cannot yes. do without a work scheme. You need it. We need it. So one will say that look, we've, we've, I mean, in the gospel fraternity, we have, we have produced the likes of Danny Nerti, and who never won an award, but I mean, we saw him all as a papa in the gospel, in the contemporary music scene. And maybe up until 2017, most of our gospel music um, industry experts were not, were not really taking this award seriously. Do you think that it was because Joe winning the award has actually changed the mindset of our gospel musicians that, look, we need to actually go in for these awards? Okay, so um, I, again, yes. so I feel that different people have different perceptions yes. when it comes to awards. Mm -hmm. And let's make it clear, mm -hmm. not everybody should or will win an award before they can make impact. Okay. There are people who are making impacts and they have not won a single award. Typical mm -hmm. example, Elder Mreku. What award has he won? Mm -hmm. But the kind of impact Elder Mreku has made over the years and is still making today, a lot of the people who have won awards have not reached the quarter of that. You get it. And so awards do not necessarily make you, it, it's, it's not like what will make you make the impact. Mm -hmm. You can still make impact without winning an award. However, mm -hmm. if the award comes, like you were mentioning, Daninete and others, we still remember Daninete not because he won an award. That's why I said, as a yeah. gospel musician, yeah. your priority should be making the impact, not winning the award. Because if you win the award and you don't make any impact, you will pass. There have been, I don't want to mention some names, but there have been some gospel musicians who have won certain awards yes. and we don't know we don't hear of them again mm -hmm. we don't even remember them in the but they've won certain popular awards you get it yeah. and so my point is by all means make impact focus on making impact and i, I feel that that's what i feel i feel that that was what joe metal was focusing on because like you and i we yeah. knew joe metal way yeah. back before he won the award and so winning the award just pushed the impact he was already making and so now more people came to know of him and so now he could make more impact but if he wasn't making any impact the award would just put him there and then after the award is gone he's back to zero wow you get wow. it so i feel that make the impact move win the souls touch their lives whilst you are doing that the awards, you know, like he's saying, in your strategy somewhere, you can have that in there. And I don't even feel like if you should necessarily put it in your strategy, but yeah. you see, these people, they look at the work you are doing. Mm -hmm. And so they've told us time and time that sometimes the artists don't even know, uh, file. They don't but file. They call them. They call them. Once your work is making the impact, you can be called. So, 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 Chrissy, so how come some of our best artists have not been, been, been nominated? I mean, the likes of Pastor Isaiah, I mean, vocal performance, Pastor Emmett, Pastor Dadson. I mean, even if, even if they don't file for nominations, don't you think they should be nominated? Again, yes. V TGMA, TGMA is a popularity-based awards. Yes. They've made it clear. It's a popularity-based. So you, your vocals can be the best. You can be making it back. If you are not popular, mm. if you are not reaching the masses, and like the names you've mentioned, yeah. in our circles... We know them. We know them. But when you step out of our circles, if mm -hmm. you enter the road, the streets, and you ask anybody, it will be hard for them to identify such people. You get it? And mostly because their music is also not, for lack of better word, let me call it commercial, commercial music. Yeah. Okay. You get it? And so it's difficult that the people we know in our circles as maybe if we had a, a very good Christian award scheme, those people, and we've seen a number of these Christian award schemes yeah. where those, these Absolutely. people were nominated. nominated. But for TGM Media, looking at it in terms of nationwide and every musician and the popularity. So that's why such people are not, you know, recognizing. Should we actually um, file for nominations for some of the artists that we think are local deserving? I mean, right. uh, if, if we are not seeing them there consistently, but um, like what um, the table of men is doing, I mean, they are always vying for the best to actually be nominated or yes, awarded. You mentioned Pastor Isaiah. Yes, right. Yes. Pastor Isaiah is one gospel artist eh? yes. that's very talented and anointed. So if an artist like Pastor Isaiah yes. gets a nomination or even a performance 
on the VGM night, mm -hmm. you know the platform or the level is going to give us Isaiah. Yeah, that's He's it. saying that we know him in our circles, mm -hmm. but when we go out of our circles, people don't know him. Mm -hmm. So that VGMA platform mm -hmm. or TGMA platform gives you that um, uh, leverage to uh, for, for the people out there mm -hmm. also get to know you. Like Paris Music, performance on um, about two... Yeah. Uh, night on, on the road shows, I think he, yes. he was on the road shows. Yeah, that before. numbers, you understand. So, um, it's not as if um, it's a canal thing that we want to tag the hours, but sometimes we need it to send the message. We cannot preach the message to only the Christians, we need people out there, we need to, to um, introduce ourselves to the people out there, let them know what we have. So, are you saying it's a tool to evangelize to dancing? Yes. Yes. And, and, and do artists live up to the billing when they are given those platforms? Do they actually preach Jesus or sing Jesus when they get there? If, let, let me tell you something. Yes. Uh, there are people, they know what they want. If they put you out there yes. and you don't give them what they want, they don't call you again. That, so, it means Joe Metal is doing something right? Because yes. I think it's been consistent for about five years. Joe will keep performing on TGMA nights because it will give you what they want. Because, you know, don't you think we have other artists who can just come and kill it? They'll, they'll just go there and then they'll do justice to it. Obviously, have, obviously. So I mean, Apart from Joe. A, a, a typical example, like, um, like he was mentioning, Perez music, you know, we have an, a number of musicians that yeah. we know that they are still coming. Mm -hmm. Like again, like I said, I, I agree with him that mm -hmm. you know it's a platform that when you get on, it can elevate you. But the platform has its rules and regulations okay. that you must be popular. Mm -hmm. And so if you are not popular, it's not as if you don't qualify, maybe vocally or maybe your song is not nice. But your song can be nice, you can be very good, but your song is not popular or you don't meet that criteria of popularity. And wow. so whilst Maybe we put you in a pool of 20. The people who are we, popular, we get there, you meet that mark when it comes. So it's not as if the people who make it are better. Okay. You get it. So I feel that, yes, there are other people. We've seen in recent times, even when MOG came, came. you see the pedestal he has been moved yeah. to. And even someone like Niela. Yeah. Niela won the, I think, the uh, female, female, female vocal. Female vocal. I think two consecutive times. Yeah. Right? And this year, too, she's they, in it. You get it. We'll get, we'll and get so people like this, he that too, yes. we didn't see them in the award scheme. Yeah. But it took effort, conscious effort of people like Table of Men, you know, other gospel other industry gospel. people to push for, you know, them to look at. And, and to be honest, yeah. these awards, mm -hmm. I would say that a majority of the people involved or the organizers yes. are not, you know, in our circles. They are in the secular circles. And so it will take a deliberate effort for us to push because they don't really know what is happening in our circle. So we have to push that, oh, this person is doing what? Well. Look here, look here, look here. And so that's why we do the things we do. You get so that we can also project other people so that you, you it will always be say, okay, Joe Mental, okay, Joe Mental. There are other people there who we also push yeah. and then they see their works and they say, oh, okay, awesome. this guy is also there. Okay, this guy is also there. And so it's, it's a you know, continuous thing that we are doing. So, she, she, are we not getting the attention now? Like gospel, oh, gospel yes, music? Yes, yes, over the years. The um, impact. Yes, yes, over the years. I think um, ever since Jometo won yeah. the artist of the year, now the narration has changed. They seen that we have something, we have the numbers. So it's like for about three years now, gospel music is selling TGME, not the secular. Gospel music is not yes. selling TGME? Yes. That's why they will always make sure they put a gospel artist at the main artist. Did it start with Sonny Badu? Um, okay, Sonny Badu had his days, yes. but um, I believe that things change during uh, Jometo's era. Uh, when he won the, um, the artist, artist of the year, of they the saw year. the news, the captions, the, the, the conversations yes. that he came. Then Dana won. Even prior to Dana winning, they saw the conversations, they saw the voting pattern. The they saw that, no, these people, they have numbers. So uh, that I keep saying that corporate Ghana should watch gospel. So concerning like the numbers, are they taking advantage of that? Maybe uh, financially or maybe when one will say they, well, are, they are they are a business. <laughs> Every business is looking for profit. Are they taking advantage of, of the church? It, it yeah. could be. It could be. I mean, if I sell something and yeah. I realize that oh, the people of Action Chapel buy it more. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm going to focus my attention there and make sure I take as much. And so. I keep telling people that see, TGM organizer, TGM is a business. 
and the business is run with money. And so, however, and, and it, it even boils down to some of the, mm. you know, nominations that come. Yeah. The people want to sell the awards the way they can also gain something. Yeah, some yeah. attention can come to them. Some money can come to them. And so, if they do things and they are not getting uh, results that mm -hmm. they want, obviously, they will shift to it. So, I, I wouldn't want to say, for lack of better ways, you can mm -hmm. say maybe they are taking advantage of mm -hmm. us, but... If, if we also see it as a platform that we yeah. have to be on, yes, we have to be on but, it. But okay. you see, the platform so, they are giving us is yes, it's just, okay. Just, just a few seconds. Ago. But the platform they are giving us is okay yes. because after PSA contending for the artist of the yeah. year, you saw the, um, the ambassador deal she had. Yeah. It's all because of these things. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the um, TGM organizers have seen that the gospel artists come with some numbers. Mm -hmm. That's why Nasi is an artist of the year. Okay, so we'll, 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 we'll get to that. We'll get right. into the categories. Okay, so before 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 we go for the break, the Kingdom Finance, the Kingdom Business Forum inaugural breakfast series is happening at the Kairos Hall ACI Prayer Cathedral. The Kingdom Business Forum inaugural breakfast series happening at the Kairos Hall ACI Prayer Cathedral. The date is the 20th of April 2024. The speakers is his eminence, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, Lady Rosa Whitaker Duncan Williams, and other, I mean, other wonderful speakers. The team is building for prosperity. I just want to tell you, viewers, that ZK is around and you're joining us after the break. You're still watching Gospel PR on Dominion TV, Advocacy Lights on Network. We'll be back after the break. Hear the gossips. They say that we can pray for a barren woman to get pregnant. Yet, I am barren. I can't give you a child. Then we'll adopt one. My man is on fire. The devil's in trouble. He's anointed. <laughs> Let him that thinks he stands. I actually came here to fight. Take heed. I can't fight it anymore. Lest he falls. This issue has projected a bad image. And yet, you are collecting money from the members in the name of donating to the poor. Open it. Father, may her enemies die. Amen. I command fresh oil on your head. Amen. Your hands shall never lie. Amen. I see stories in your eyes, but yet I can't make sense out of it. How dare you? It is not true. Love yes, I do. <laughs> A taste of sin now showing on Netflix. In our previous seasons. We brought all the answers to your burning questions about Christianity. And now, your controversial questions, the never been asked questions, the unusual questions will be taken care of on our all new season. This is Just Ask. I'm your host, Kokulumo. Get ready as we delve into the depths of the Christian faith. Deeper understanding of scriptures, or grappling with theological dilemmas, or simply seeking some spiritual guidance. Well, our esteemed panel of guests will be here to provide you clarity and godly wisdom. Tune in this and every Tuesday at 8 p.m. as we explore the complexities of the Christian faith and uncover the truth that resonates with believers everywhere. Send your one minute video to the number on your screen asking any question. Just Ask is where every question finds its answer. Stay curious, stay faithful. Only on Dominion TV.
Welcome back from the break. You're still watching Gospel PR on Dominion TV, Africa's Christian Lifestyle Network. And we've been discussing the, the awards, you know, the TGME Awards 2024, the 25th edition of the panelists. ZK has joined us. And even before we get into the main categories, I just want to encourage our viewers, especially those watching us on our socials, YouTube and Facebook, that you can send in your comments. We want to get interactive with you. I'll read every one of your comments live on the show. The show is Gospel PR on Dominion TV. Guys, we are back again. Uh, now, now the categories. Okay, so um, last year, here's Siesta, <laughs> the defending champion, the best gospel artist and the best gospel song. Uh, yeah. So I want to start with the best gospel artist of the year, 2024. Okay, so, so for, for, this one is for 2024. Yeah. So, but best gospel under. artist 2023, yeah. right? So the, the year under review is 2023. Yeah. yeah, so we are in 2024 now. 2023, best gospel artist of the year. Best gospel artist of the year. So we have Nasi. We have okay, so it's on your screens. Um so we have Nasi. So we have Dana Hamilton, we have Joe Metal, we have Joyce Blessing, we have Mabel Autry, we have Nasi, we have Perez Music, PC Esther, Scott Evans, the hundred percent man. Well, this is a close one. Mm. Um is is anybody missing from this list? Let me start from ZK. Uh, it's not really a close one like that because if you look at the list, we have artists who have done work, but some have been exceptional and some have stood out. I don't want to really mention names so that it would be like your favorites and all of that. But yeah. You need to mention the names. No, but, you, no, you have to, no. you have to say I feel like everybody in there has really worked. They've all worked. Sure. Yes. yes. They, they all deserve yes, to everybody has worked. Uh, Joe Metal has been exceptional. Nasi has been exceptional. Nasi has been exceptional. Joyce Blessing has been exceptional. I like that. I like, I like the position. Nasi has been exceptional. But I'm just mentioning this. Yes. I've not said Nasi has been exceptional. You mentioned Nasi too. I forgot what about Dana Hamilton, Hamilton ZK? Dana has been exceptional. Uh -huh. Of course, you know that every year, yes, we are looking for an artist awake. who, like the Christian fraternity, we are looking out for. Of course, you can't take Dana Hamilton out. And I think over the years, she has really proven that she's relevant mm -hmm. with her programs awake. And every year, she comes up with a song. And her songs has been consistent. Yes. Not just consistent, but it has blessed people and it has taking the, the, the airwaves, mm -hmm. definitely. Uh, Mabel Lottery. Maybe I think Mabel, Mabel came in the scene after Haye Kwan. But she was missing for a very long time. I think Mabel went off for close to eight years or seven years. It's been yeah. long ago. Mm -hmm. After all you know, back. actually, when, yeah. when the song came and they were mentioning Mabel Lottery, I thought it was a new artist. Oh, and exactly. Really? Was a, wow. I thought she was a new she artist. She has been in the system for long. Yeah, yeah. She I think her uh, last release was Odiaba. Yes, you didn't know Odiaba. Then yeah. she went off for some time. Then she came out. So she deserves a nomination. Oh, of for course. Of the year. I mean, for, for, for the year and a review. For the year and a review. She deserves it. <laughs> oh, for the song, that she deserves it. Watching, you know. For the song, mm -hmm. I have no... Um, you have no qualms about it. Yeah, but for the artist of the year, I believe um, if anything to... <laughs> Who should have been there that is not there? Um, I think Celestine Donko. Celestine Donko. The year and a review. Uh, 2023. Celestine Donko was supposed to be there. Actually. Curious. But she's oh, not there. The year under review, Celestine Donko. So let me, let me Kofi Osu Pepra. Kofi Osu Pepra, If you say Kofi Osu Pepra, I agree. Celestine mm -hmm. Donko. Celestine. Celestine Donko. Uh, Kofi Osu Pepra. Um, Luigi McLean. Luigi McLean. ZK. Why Luigi? Because of Mala. Mille, yeah, Mille, Mille. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't think Luigi should be. Even Emoji. Emoji worked. Emoji but it's, it's, okay, it's, it's, okay, it's, okay. It's, Fine. So, I think so I before we go on, yeah. yes, let me yeah. let me read the category definition so yes. that you know why it's really? not there. Yes. Yes. Okay. It says that the best gospel artist is the artist adjudged by the academy board and general public as the artist with the highest audience appeal, one, and audience popularity appeal. in the gospel genre. Mm -hmm. The artist must have released a hit single, so EP, hit single. or album during the year under review. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't see some people there, one of these three factors is the reason. So the name I mentioned, who is not supposed to no. be? What is Kofi Otis you... Suppress hit single? Ah, I know. Was it that hit single? No, no. Was it a hit single? Ah. Okay, so compare that. Like, it's single. It's single. No, it didn't work in Nigeria and a couple of countries. Oh, okay, take your time. No, no, no. You should not hear about this because when over the weekend we reviewed it. The hit single of Perez is what? 
Yeah, no, you, 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 you are just focusing on the single. You are not even focusing on the single. No, 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 let's do that. No, 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 wait, wait. Listen to three things. Yes, give us. He says that, he says that with the um, highest audience appeal. Highest one. audience appeal. Uh, Popularity. Uh -huh. Okay. Popularity. Two. Uh -huh. And must have released a hit single, EP, or album. Uh -huh. And so these three factors. These three factors. You see, you must meet these three yeah. factors. Uh -huh. Now, you see, when you talk about um, maybe Perez is there, Kofi Osupra, I'm, I'm looking at it in terms of Kofi Osupra. Right. Mm. When you take Kofi Osupra out of our gospel circles, uh -huh. how many people out there no Kofi Osu Pepra. Maybe one will be one will say he has been to so many shows. He's been on yes, but you see, events. when it comes to and that's the argument back I keep to back. No, yeah, listen, listen. Yeah. When, yeah. It to, yeah. when, yeah. when it comes to when it comes to Christian, because will get to you. Let, let, because your horses, Perez let, let Perez you. came and made waves last year. People know Perez more than they know Kofi Osu Pepra. That is a fact. One will also say that Perez's song um, is his latest song, the cafe is not really It's not making the ways, but you see, like he's, that, he's like gotten that, like last year. We sat here when we're we were doing the review, yeah. and we said that last year was a good year for Perez. Yeah. Why? Because he was on almost all the big shows. Yeah. People were seeing Perez back to back to back to back on all the big shows. And so obviously his popularity and audience appeal was there. Yes. And so maybe he was lacking somewhere okay. in the music. Now, if you come to Kofi Osupepra, maybe he did better with the music, but his audience appeal and his uh, popularity. Oh. Remember, yeah. this is you are talking in terms of the no. gospel sector. This is Ghana. We know Kofi Osupepra, no. but the, when you go the outside, the TGM is, when you is, is a you moment. can do a you can do a, 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 a research or something. Just step on the streets, just here. Ah. Go on these streets. Okay. Ask okay. anybody. Okay, so um, you can come in before she, she, she. Okay, so I was I was following. The analysis Julius was making. Yeah. Okay. Everything was on point until the until popularity with Kofi Pepra. See, Kofi Pepra has been on most major, like ah, almost big shots. Almost all the he has gotten the popularity and the audience appeal. Yeah. I don't think so. Hey, Kofi Osu Pepra. His name is out there, like ah. literally. Kofi Osu Pepra's name is out. It's a song bigger there. than his name, like the, so. The song is out there, but maybe you know people no, 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 know no, no. the song. The there. song. Uh -huh. But they don't even know. You see the people no, 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 no. who know Kofi Osu Pepra now mm -hmm. don't even know the Ruak. The Ruak Kadesh is so, so, circulating so, so, in so let, our let, let, circles. Let, let, let okay, you so get so it. Adios. The Ruak Kadesh is not a radio song. So you don't get yeah, definitely, to, definitely yeah, you don't get to hear it on the radio because yeah. it's a typical contemporary gospel gospel yeah. music. So um, the lovers of gospel music will go for it. Like let's pick an artist like Shatawali. You see, he has songs that the core underground people get to know of it. And when you sing that song in their mix, they know it. So Kofi Rupa is uh, that artist that when you come into our system, wherever you enter, every church in Ghana, you enter, you mention Kofi Osu Rupa, they know it. Understand? Mm -hmm. But maybe the secular people doesn't know him. So Kofi will also be brought in. We are, we are awarding gospel artists. We are not awarding a general artist. So in the gospel space is somebody that we know. So there's no way you award gospel artists, okay. especially um, looking at 2023, you, you know Messi Kofi Osu Rupa. But you see, that's why I okay, said so in the guys, beginning so that it's not limited to the gospel. It is a popularity-based popularity award. And the popularity is cutting okay, across. So but there is a tax, so gospel. So now <laughs> let's go to the song of the year. Yes, we'll come back to who you think should win. Let's go to the of, best gospel song. From the way you say it, then yeah, always, like, then all artists of the we'll year, they will always come back. So the song of the year, best gospel song of the year, uh, of course, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> so, so okay, yes, tears of best. joy by Patience Nako. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and Union by Bibelotri. I said that by Nasi. Kafo <laughs> Perez Music. <laughs> Mo PSE Esther. 100% by my man Scott Evans. Mm. Say Amen, Diana Hamilton. Victory, Church Blessing. ZK, what are you going for? Elimination by Rock. Okay. Artists. So let's take some out. Uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, definitely. Take some out. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. You take some out. If it's 10, yes. the year under review, it, yes. I think these are not our best 10 songs. This is eight. eight. Actually, these are not our best songs. This is eight. The, the whole year, we are the looking for eight top songs. This is not our best. This is not our best. Educate me. This is not our best. Tears of Joy shouldn't be there. Tears of Joy, please. No. Out. Mm. no. It's wow. not a popular song. I support you. 
For the first time, I support you. So if you are for the first time, you say yes. That's my so man. Yes. So today, that's why today. today you are yes. close. You are yes. close. Yes. Today, yes. today, yes. today, yes. today, yes. today yes. you have agreed. Wife, you see the tension coming and swap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so tears on should not be not at all. Um, I think Perez did well with Kafu, but it's, it it didn't really do well like that, wow. like the way he Walilala and the others yeah. did. So you see, they, not to cut you, but yeah. this is where I agree that you see, Perez in gospel artists, mm. I agree, but Perez in, in popular, popular song, I do not okay. agree yeah. because the song did not make the mark, yeah. but mm. the person made, yeah. the, made mark. the mark. If you are tired, so they, they will, so you. so in terms of that best gospel song. Uh, Mille mm -hmm. yeah. by uh, Luigi, by, by Luigi did yeah. so well. Yeah. It's literally a song that if you mention, yeah. everybody can flow it can because it's flow. easy to sing and all of that. Okay. And not just that, but if you go on the uh, Spotify streams and the Apple Music streams and the YouTube streams, yeah, the numbers. song has really so again, let, let, amassed some numbers. Let, yeah. let me read some of our comments from um, from our viewers on our socials. So Media Globe, Media More Global is saying that what other ways can artists employ to be known aside award schemes. Um, yeah, Ellie is saying that interesting show. I salute she 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 man. I salute she 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 man. Yes, sir. And, uh, <laughs> and then William Ozuama is saying that there's no doubt Nasi is winning this. Yes, yes, time was last year. Awesome. Okay, so um, uh, Olivia says, ZK, Ope Asem, you love trouble. <laughs> ZK, is it true? <laughs> it is well. Is so ZK, is continue that. so that is this man. <laughs> yeah, so Mille should be there. Mm -hmm. Um. I'll take Tears of Joy out, mm -hmm. then I'll replace it with uh, Mili. Mili. Then I'll take Kafu out. You take Kafu out? Definitely. Uh, which song? I'll put Style Baby there. You put Style? Yes. Zike, Zike, Zike. Zike, I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, style be a... It's a hit song. You want to fool that you know the song? It's uh, a nine. My <laughs> song don't, don't I know? Yeah, that's a Samuel song. You don't, uh, know. don't let me fire it right now. <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, okay, I think yeah, yeah, I mean certainly I agree that um, myself I would take tears of joy out. I mean, to be honest, I am in this industry. I have, I work in this industry, but until this nomination came out, I actually, I actually oh, not heard this. Song. Tears, oh, of joy. tears of joy. Yeah. Well, why? I have not heard I, it before. Can you sing it? I know. It was. Sing. I know that song. It was sing. after the nomination came that yeah. I actually went to check. Oh, tears of joy. Almost say tears. Of ah, joy. just imagine. <laughs> Yes, I'm sorry. Someone said So yeah, no, 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 Okay, so I, I, know, I know every good. gospel song. Uh, Patience, now I'm not on So set, I'm I saying beg. that no malice hmm. intended, but like, I would also take tears of joy out. Yeah. I would take Kafo out. And obviously, I'm thinking that, you see, the only issue I have with Mille is with the artist. Because the artist didn't meet the song when it comes to visibility. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You get it. And so, listen. Yeah, wedding song. We are listen, not listen, artist. listen. When, we are and, not and you see, artist. I spoke to, this I did, artist, I did my, took him off. No, now we are listen, listen. Song. listen. What has got to okay, do okay, so guys, listen. So we are, you know what? We are really hard for time. <laughs> I, I want to hear the views from, uh, from, um, from <laughs> Sheshe, she, and then we'll go for a break. They are taking the people out. Let me put in the names. Yes. They took um, Tears of Joy. Mm -hmm. I support. They mm -hmm. took Kafo. I support. But me, I'll add C-Men. Say amen. Yeah, I'll take say amen out. So I will take say amen out. Yes. Yeah. Then I have to say yes. yes. That, so they didn't really I'll change say amen so with so much. Let me change say amen with time. Okay, so we, we, we don't guys, change guys, time guys, time start time We are at rest of Let me add the rest. Eh. Then yes. Mille will change Kafo. Mm -hmm. um, then Raka Kudesh will change Tears of Joy. Okay, so now, right. your your song of the year. My song of the year. Basically, it's uh, Nasi. Your song of the year, Ziki. I said that, Nasi. Your song of the year. Yeah, hands down. So, question for your your artist of the year? I go for no. Nasi. You go for Nasi. Yeah. You artist of the year. Arti overall artist of the year. Best gospel artist of the year. We'll come to that later on another ep episode. Uh, so best, best gospel, gospel artist, artist of the year. year. Um, Nasi. Nasi. Best yeah. gospel artist of the year. Jometo. Jometo. Okay. So I'm sure on another episode we'll delve into it. So um, viewers, we are going for a break. We'll be back. We're going to back 360. It's gospel PR.
Welcome back to Gospel PR on Dominion TV, Africa's Christian Lifestyle Network. We've been having a wonderful time with the pundits, you know, we've had a wonderful time. And even before we delve into the Global 360 News, um, the Kingdom Business Forum inaugural breakfast series is happening at the Kairos Hall at the ACR Prayer Cathedral. The date is the 20th April 2024. Speakers are His Eminence, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, and also Lady Rosa Whitaker Duncan Williams, among other wonderful speakers. The team is building for prosperity. Now it's time for us to delve into Global 360. What will bring you all the latest news in the Christian entertainment scene? We call it Global 360. Let's go for it. Award-winning gospel musician, Noble Inketia, is set to hold his music concert, dubbed Yahweh, Miracles in His Presence, on 7th April, 2024. The concert is to be held at St. Mary's International School, Ashaman, at 5 p.m. Noble Nketiah has been in the gospel industry for over two decades, with several hit songs like Semitiasi and Yesudu, among others. Guest artists include Obapa Christi, Kofi Kakari, Max Praise, Perry Loco, Anani Mante, and Scott Evans. Ghana's gospel titans, Kofi Sapong and Diana Hamilton, have captivated audiences once more with the release of their highly anticipated collaboration, Yehoa. This powerful single, released on March 29, 2024, transcend experiences blending their soulful vocals in harmonious celebration of faith and reverence. Translating to God in the Akan language, Yehoah is a profound testament to the unwavering belief in the higher power that guides and sustains. Kofi Sapong and Diana Hamilton's voices intertwine seamlessly, their lyrics resonating with depth and conviction, inviting listeners on a spiritual journey to find the solace and strength in their devotion. Music has the ability to touch the deepest parts of the human soul, reflects Kofi Sapon. With Yehoah, we inspire to remind listeners that even in the darkest moments, God's love and grace remain an unwavering constant, a beacon of hope and comfort. Diana Hamilton echoes this sentiment, underscoring the transformative power of unity and worship. Collaborating with Kofi Sapong on Yehoah was a truly divine experience, she shares. As the release dates draw near, Yehoah stands as a clarion call to faith, a reminder that music transcends boundaries and connects us to something greater than ourselves. Kofi Sapong and Diana Hamilton extend an invitation to join them on this spiritual odyssey, where every note resonates with divine love and celestial inspiration. So we are back from the Global 360 years, Kofi Sapon and Diana Hamilton collaborating on that wonderful piece. Uh, um, that's a great song. And also Noble and Kitty so, um, show is coming on this very Sunday. Guys, your comments, brief one, on Noble and Kitty, yeah, Sapon. Okay, so Diana I think, um, Noble and Kitty has been one of our legendary gospel artists over the years. He has paid his dues to the industry. So an event like this, I call upon all Christian lovers and um, gospel music lovers to... Um, Good, I think it's a free, yeah, free, show, free for sure. Show. My man Scott Evans is on bill, so I'm, Scott, I'm, I'm Scott good to go. So, sure. wherever Scott is, you go for it. Suzuki, okay. so, a quick one. Um, I think I, 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 this is the second time I'm agreeing with Shishu. Yeah. Yeah. Second, second time, time. Okay. yeah, yeah, that's why it's in white. Yes, okay. <laughs> so finally, yeah, I, I, I think that you know, no, Nobo is, is someone who we've known him in the past, he yes. went on a break, he's back. So we should we should just support him. You know, this is consistency. Consistency. And I, I feel like with our support, people like this can you know do more. Do more. Guys, thank you so much for coming on the show. Definitely, we'll, 
We're okay, going to continue, yeah. you know, continue for maybe go delve into the artists of the year and all, uh, all, all those conversations. Thank you so much. Kwesi for ZK and of course ZK's best friend, Shisheshi. Guys, thanks so much. Thank now, next up is the Light It Up segment today. after the break. Gossip. Stay tuned. excited about life and just you know blessed to be you know a part of God's kingdom now. You're watching Get Ready With Mo and I am your host Monique Laws. How did you become the chief of Okasamba? My queen mother called me that I should come home for a discussion and I got home say you are not going back your uncle is dead you have to take over the mountain. Wow. Oh my gosh, hey! Did you see you, my boy. But now you were on The Voice UK. You won. You yes. smashed it. By the grace of God. I've always had a fear of opening my mouth to speak. So I'm kind of fear. Hey, 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 hey. Let's cut that route out. Let me try again. You know where that's coming yes. from. But he forgot to use me, you know? Amen. We love a vessel. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready with Mo, starting your day the right way. We indulged in lots of things, you know, a lot of weed, a lot of booze, a lot of cocaine, a lot of girls. The people were killing the women and cutting their bodies up and putting them in bags and putting them on the highway. I worked with them at 13 years old. And I was hearing the father with some mom saying, that, Oh, nice boy. You heard that before, you know? Oh. I'm not so Look at him. But, if the man be in Christ. When you draw closer to God, God speaks to you. God touches your heart. The Holy Ghost will make you feel guilty. He will convict you from sin. He's not here to condemn you. Do something for Jesus. Because you see, when he tell men about God, God tells men about you. Hyperpigmentation, dark spots, wrinkles, acne scars. Your skin can be beautiful again. Repair, renew, and reveal your skin with the Forever Clear Multi Fruit Set. Enriched with extras of milk, sugar cane, citrus fruits, and vitamin C and E. The Forever Clear Multi Fruit Set exfoliates the skin cells to repair the damage and nourish your skin with visible results in six to eight weeks. Forever Clear, caring for tomorrow's beauty needs today. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. This is Ben Estelle, your favorite gospel artist. There was a time I had to lead prison worship in church and these keyboardists did not want to leave that key alone. If I was to ever meet Abraham and his son in heaven, I don't want to talk to Abraham, I want to talk to Isaac. <laughs> what was going through your mind when they put you up there, tied up, right? ready to cut? Like, right? what if he didn't listen to God's voice? Ben Estelle inspires this Friday and Sunday, only on Dominion TV. Welcome back from the break. You're still watching Gospel Peer on Dominion TV, Advocates, Chris, and Lifestyle Network. Next up is Light It Up, where we, we, we get interactive with, with your favorite gospel music act. Today, I'm joined by Reverend, Reverend Eddie Quay. Reverend Eddie Quay, one of the finest gospel musicians in Ghana and in Africa. You know, he's, he's calm, but very, very, very anointed. He just, he just sings with the anointing of God. One of you, you're welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. Wow, you've, you. you've, you've been consistent. Tell, tell us your secrets. Wow. <laughs> The secret is, um, let me say hello to everyone, please. Yes. Uh, the secret actually is about prayer mm. and staying focused, knowing what God has called you to do. Mm. And uh, I mean, being in your lane, it's, it's not about competition. No, I don't believe God called us to compete with each other. I, I, I believe that God rather called us to sort of complete one another. Wow. So where I'm weak, you try to come on board. And mm. so... I believe that it's all about being in your lane and, and, and trusting God. And, and trusting God. At the right time, 
and um, he, he will do whatever he said. Awesome, uh, awesome. Yes. So now let's 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 dive into your project. I know there's a okay. there's a new one. Um, tell, tell tell us about the inspiration behind the song, <laughs> the song that we are about to to actually okay. you know play first time All on right. Dominion TV. Okay. All right. So um, I initially called it Agbeye. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so this is the story behind it. Yes. I think it was about um, after 21 days, no, within the 21 days of fasting, declared by my bishop, uh, mm -hmm. the Reverend Dr. J.K.K. Macy. So I think it was in the third week, yes, mm -hmm. when we were praying, and I kept hearing the word, I, I don't speak away. Um, I, I don't even understand mm -hmm. it. Okay, so I kept hearing the word, then the melody started coming. So... I contacted one of our Sunday school teachers, yes. who is an Ewe, and I said, ah, what, what, what is there any Ewe word like any, this? Any Ewe word like that? <laughs> then he said, yes, yes, it means new life. Now, wow. before that, God had taken me through the scripture, the second Corinthians uh, 15, 7, or 7, 15, rather, where it says that if a man be in Christ, is mm -hmm. a new creation altogether. Yeah. That was my my devotion for the whole day so wow. it means god was actually telling me that i'm going to give you a new life a new, life. A new beginning mm. a, a new everything that you and the title do. of the song once again and the title says Agbeye, but later i change it to new life new life so everybody can understand easily so if new yes, life sir. now yes, the first time play on tv this is the first time play i mean airplane that's you are going to hear the song reverend Eddie Queen, New Life, first time I play on Dominion TV. He died and rose on the third day and paid it all for my sins. The same spirit that raised Christ From the dead lives in me Amazing grace How sweet the sound That saved a wretch Like me The same spirit that raised Christ From the dead lives in me Oh, I bear yeah, yeah. John and me, John and me, I bear ye ye. Yes, John and me. I believe that you died, took my guilt and shame. Your redemption plan has given me a new life. Never gave up on me, but you chose to call me your own. Yes, your own. Oh, I beg you, yeah. yes, you join on me. So, Agbeyeye by Reverend Eduke. Wonderful song, The New Life of Christ. Look, first time airplay on Dominion TV on any other TV station. And let me give you a gist, okay? So, the music video you just watched was produced and filmed by Dominion TV. Yes, we produced it and we are proud about it. You see the quality, uh, quality video. So, look, if, if you're an artist in Niger, uh -huh. In South Africa, okay. in Kenya, in Ghana, wherever you are, look, get in touch with us and call us 
on the contact that we actually project on the screens will give you quality video production. And of course, we have the LED services av available. And you can also get in touch with the ACR community. Dominion TV in 47 African countries. So get in touch. Look, let's, let's give you a quality I mean, video production like we have done for Reverend Edikwe. Agbeye Ye New Life. This will be played over and over and over again on the stage. And so when you come around, we produce your, your music video for you. And it's also on Dominion TV. What is 7 to 78 African countries? Open when I open day. What? I mean, <laughs> this is for you. Yes, right here on Dominion TV, African Scripture Life on Network. Reverend Edikwe, that, yes, I mean, that is a wonderful song. <laughs> Quality <laughs> music video. We bless God. Everything on point. We so, bless God. How do you see this song doing? Uh, by the grace of God, I think I first think time ever, it's, it's, it's flying. It's uh, flying. God is doing his own yeah. thing with, it, with, with the song. I, I've come across a lot of people. Many people have sent messages mm -hmm. uh, talking about how, how blessing is being to them. Wow. In fact, I have a lot of testimonies. People send me messages to share their testimonies, mm -hmm. how they song. I, I remember three weeks, uh, no, sorry, about four days ago, a guy sent me a message was driving and he said but for your song i was going to hang myself wow yeah but yes but, but for, for the your, song he was going to hang for himself. the song i was going to hang myself god bless you christ has given me a new life and i don't know where you are wherever you are watching me from listen to me god has a future for you he, he mm. don't give up on god because he's not giving up on you mm. yet the best is yet to come so don't give up on god because don't god has not given up on you there that's are the words from Reverend Edikwe. I want to read some of the comments from our viewers mm. watching us on our socials. Calvin is saying that a very touching song. I love it. And AC is saying that we need more songs from Rev. Of course, expect more songs from him. <laughs> I mean, this year, Reverend Edikwe, right from like, yeah, yeah, the new life, there are more songs coming. Yeah. So it's been a wonderful episode of Gospel mm -hmm. on Dominion TV. Mm -hmm. My name is Dave Hazel. I'm 11 episode. Um, next week, we're going to come back with a wonderful episode. Mm -hmm. Keep watching Dominion TV. And even before I go, your final words and then, yeah, yeah. Anything you want to say to, let me say, to let the me say of Christ? Thank you to all the uh, viewers. Thank you to everybody. Uh, thank you to Fountain of Glory, Assemblies yes. of God Church. Thank you to my bishop. The, I, I, I always say the only bishop in Assemblies of God. <laughs> That's the original bishop of Assemblies of God. Reverend Dr. J. K. B. C. And the entire congregation. And especially to my wife. Yes. Thank her for her special love mm. and, and support. Mm. And to my kids. To Tabernacle Praise Choir, God bless you. It's mm. been a blessing serving you. And... God bless us all. Man of God, you are blessed. More we bless grace God. and more we favor. Bless God. Remember, we bless viewers, God. Jesus Christ is the only answer for you and I to live forever. It's a wrap for now.